the thing we have to talk about first is when your pastor, Judah, pronounced you Taylor and Taylor Lautner. What was it like for you hearing your name together for the first time, the same name? <laughs> Honestly, wild. It was just a very surreal moment. Can you share just a little about the feelings of seeing your bride and seeing your husband for the first time? We were both freaking out over what the other was wearing, so. <laughs> both of us for so long had been telling each other about our looks and stuff. It was an emotional moment seeing her for the first time. Who was more stressed out leading up? And that was a very quick point. I don't know if you recall, I sent you a photo of me driving to the hotel to get ready, and it literally was just a photo of me crying. And I was like, I'm freaking out right now. All good feelings. And I remember sending you that photo of me hysterical. Just be like, bro, I'm losing it right now. I mean, it's the beautiful, sweet, soft side of you that so many people don't see. How'd your best man do that day? at the wedding. Uh, Is he okay? Mediocre. He could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was all right. He was, he, he was good. It was one of my big honors to be there with you. And I think the culmination of why we're here today is what you're doing with your podcast. It's called The Squeeze. You finish nursing school. You get thrown into the COVID unit. And it was really hard for you mentally. Working as a COVID nurse was the first time I ever experienced mental health. Taylor protecting me is a very large role in that. I didn't really realize that I was struggling with anything because it was just so like rinse and repeat almost. Like I would go do night shift, come home, sleep, wake up, eat breakfast, go do the same thing. You would come home from a shift and I could see on your face that you just, you weren't doing well. I think we honestly were driving over here one day and Taylor was like, hey, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm just tired. And he's like, no, but like, are you actually okay? That was the first time I really thought like, maybe like I am experiencing something else. You could tell something was going on early on. I had a very strong feeling that something was up. Uh, I think that was the shift in our relationship where we both started being more honest and open with each other about how we really were doing. Mm -hmm.